कम करना है मेरे को जरा छोटा करना था कैसे करेंगे क्या छोटा करना ठीक तो है So uh, the session will begin in few minutes. Um, let's wait for everyone to join. Yeah. Is W Baba there? Uh, I don't think so. W Baba is joining today. Let me join. I wanted to look him. See him. How is it? But maybe next session. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So when, uh, sir, as as agla session kab hoga, sir? We'll let you know soon. आज का खत्म करते हैं वाला, है ना? आज ठीक से होश. We'll just wait for a few more minutes that everyone join and then we'll start. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Tell that how many of you guys have registered or completed the latest challenge? Anyone was completed? Or has uploaded yes. the video? Yes. Sir, right. sir, I'm doing it. You're doing it. Uh, can yes, you put your Can you put your names in the chat section? Those who have done it or who are doing it. I can come to know, yeah. Sir, but uh, sir, I have a problem. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, 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 this forty-five uh, challenge. Okay, we look into that later on. Yeah, but I I want you guys. You you can post it in the chat. Okay, so okay. you can ask later on. Sir, I'm sir, I am doing challenge forty five. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I uh, challenge no. I completed challenge number forty four, and I take uh three days. And challenge number forty five uh. Three days are completed. I think uh, tomorrow. कल तक ये बन जाएगा. That's great, Harsh. That's great, Harsh. So Harsh is into challenge forty-five. Arav Shah has completed. Uh, Tanmay Gar. Only three students. Only three students. Who else? Come on, guys. Put in your chat section. Put your name in the chat section so I can come come to know who is doing it or not. Anyone else? Let's see. Okay, Dhruv has done it. Who else? Who else? Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Let's see how many of you guys have done it or are enthusiastic. Yeah. Hmm. No new name. Good morning. Good morning, all. Good morning, Ria. Good morning, sir. So, shall we start, Suman? Yeah, there are already forty people there, so let's start. There will be people joining. Cool, cool, cool. So, a very good morning, everyone. Yeah, a beautiful climate out there. Yeah. Holy, no bye. So play a safe holy. Cool. So let me introduce myself first. Okay. Uh, my name is Manan Gandhi. Yeah. And I'm basically a wit blocker. Okay. I'm a wit blocker like you guys, and I innovate and I make my own projects in AI. Okay. So, anyone, uh, do you know what AI is or what does it stand for? Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Okay, so the full form is artificial intelligence. But what is artificial intelligence? Sir, artificial. One at a time. One at a time. One in one artificial way. Artificial intelligence is. Uh... Mm hmm. Go on. Go on. Don't worry. 
I think Abhirup, Abhirup wants to say something. Yeah, Abhirup, you can say. What is AI? Anyone? Sir, it is the intelligence of a computer. It, it has an intelligence of a computer. Sir, can I see? Yeah, yeah. I mean, artificial means man-made and intelligence means the presence of consciousness, mm -hmm. me uh, memory, and it also has uh, the presence of existence, knows something exists. Sir, so can I can? Yeah. And it can Sir. identify and it can compare. So if it has all these conditions, mm -hmm. it has a so we are So when we mean artificial intelligence, we are accepting all these conditions and making something. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Sir, what, else? what else? Yeah. Sir, artificial intelligence is present everywhere, sir, in our mobile phones, computers, okay. uh, and mm -hmm. our devices. So they they uh, don't need to uh, take uh, they take decisions on their own. They don't need uh, help from humans to uh, tell that uh, do this or this. Okay, yeah, right, 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 right. So all of, all your definitions are very right. So um, and tell me like few applications where artificial intelligence is used, like where it is used, or except for the mobile phone. Yeah. Facebook home automation. automation. Home automation. Is it automation. Used in Arduino, you know, like Arduino, you know, Raspberry Pi. Mm -hmm, but what to make what? Well, assistant. But to make so, what? Uh, they have some robot intelligent robot to do it. They have some programs. Yeah, robots. Um, art, artificial intelligence can also make um, some Google Assistant. Google Assistant, yeah. So very good example is Google Assistant or Amazon Echo. Uh, also, have you guys watched Iron Man? The movie Iron Man? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, there is artificial intelligence. Yeah. yeah. So in that Iron Man uh, has a suit and he has an assistant called Jarvis. Okay. So, Iron Man could ask Jarvis to maybe order in coffee, okay, or shoot somewhere, yeah. So, all that is artificial intelligence. Also, um, a very good example could be uh, the autonomous car. Um, have you guys heard about Tesla? Elon Musk. Yes, sir. Elon Musk. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Automatic car. Automatic yes, car. Okay, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Someone is speaking. It is a, it is a, having a specially designed key. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, what is uh, Tesla? So, can anyone tell me what is the difference about electric Tesla? Electric cars. So, so electric cars. Electric so, cars. Electric cars. So, yeah, yeah, you can say. Just a second. So, Tesla has driving so it can drive itself it can drive itself yes that is the difference between a normal car and a self-driving car yeah a self-driving car drive. can it drive itself and auto drive. yeah so many autopilot many mode many yes, helicopters have autopilot yeah, right. what, what what is? Is? tesla has a Tesla Model S is a new technological car which can drive by itself. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. right. But um, can anyone tell me, uh, like, why AI? You know, why you want AI right now? Why AI? Like you told me that. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So we have learned. Uh, what is AI? So we know what is AI. So anything that can assist human or has human like thinking. It can make our life easier. Anish, wait. Anish, wait. Yeah. So we know what AI is. Okay. What yes. applications of AI. Okay. But why AI? Now why AI? So first, so I'll give you. Uh, can Anish, I so Anish was speaking. Yeah. So we, first Anish and let's see who else. It will, it will make our life easier. Okay, it will make our life easier. Okay, so Sumit, we have Sumit here. Yeah. Sumit, you can speak. Why AI right now? Sir, AI that? is needed because if a hmm. lot of things are like the humans can't do it accurately and right. the machines have to do it. Very and good. that's why we code the machines so that they have their artificial intelligence which is fed in them. 
so that they can use that and make all that correctly that's great that's great yeah so we mom, have mom digi digi mom mom digi digi mom mom digi 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 <laughs> so who else uh, tanish we can go for tanish now yeah tanish manan if you can just uh, disable the uh, like uh, if you can just stop on annotation for those mm. and annotation are okay yeah. Screen, yeah sir uh guys sir, can i tell mm, give me a second yeah 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 you can tell so like old people uh, can't uh, they have to uh, say so ai can remind them to take medicine and give them medicine to old people that live alone mhm what else so you can help them yeah right right, right. and uh, harsh so yeah. ai AI is used to make our life easier. Uh, something we don't able to uh, able to use. Mm-hmm. To make... So we can make many things with AI. Uh, mm, but why AI? I'm asking. I know we can make many things with AI. But why AI? Why AI? To reduce yeah, man labor. If you one at a time, one at a time. Yeah. Calculator is used to cal. calculate uh, fast this is an example of ai 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 make our life easier uh so like only the, just only is it only ai that makes our life easier no because we use ai no. because no. it's a material so so so, so just let me just just uh, this is a second yeah so like everyone is saying like ai helps us it makes our life easier so Mm, just a second yeah wait just to yeah so yeah. what is the difference between robotics and ai because even robotics uh, you know it makes my life very easier so what is the difference between robotics and ai sir in robot sir in robotics we have robotics sir in robotics uh, if we use suppose distance and sir mm-hmm. can things and it makes our life easier <laughs> it makes more and easier in like robotics it can't ha- it doesn't have any intelligence mm-hmm. not artificial intelligence it can think itself and it can take its own decisions right right in robotics there is no intelligence okay so robotics can help uh, like ai for example uh, let's take an example of tesla okay tesla car in tesla car we have multiple sensors for example we have multiple ir sensors now why why ir because ir can be used to detect objects near it right so by getting the data of ir sensor ai can make the decisions okay so if there's someone in front of the car okay maybe the car will stop okay or if he's at a very large distance or he's very you know uh, far away uh, the car can honk maybe yeah so this is why ai or uh, i would say robotics is used to support ai but okay. sir we can do it with robotics also we can do it uh, it with robotics also but it will be like we'll have to manually code it okay so it will be like you have to tell it if distance then this it won't be smart okay it is a command that we have given okay so uh, let's see okay so what we have seen what is artificial intelligence okay so anything that makes our lives easier and is smart enough to make decisions on its own is ai okay so we'll see some videos of ai okay we'll see some videos of ai right now or uh, let's see a first video of ai give me a second so is my youtube screen uh, visible to everyone no no yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay okay yes sir it is visible yes sir it is visible okay everyone now watch the video I come from a small family currently staying in Mumbai. My father and my brother are in working in finance department and they wanted me to do the same but I always believe that my passion is coding. Usually in Indian family what happens the father is considered to be the real boss but in actuality the mother is the real head of the family. So once my mother is convinced convincing my father is pretty easy for my mother. When I joined university, I wanted to explore as a person who I was. So I did a lot of things other than computer science. And in 2018, I saw a video by Tanya Finlayson at Google I/O. 
she helped google's keyboard team to integrate morse code into the google keyboard and that is something that really inspired me to affect people in a positive way after graduation i started volunteering at a deaf and mute institute near my place after 5 to 6 months of spending time in learning sign language i was still having problems communicating with them effectively that's when i realized that somebody who does not know sign language will have a lot of problems communicating with a deaf and mute person i wanted to use tensorflow and machine learning to get the images in real time from the camera and then translate them to speech so basically it was gesture to speech as any machine learning researcher will do i searched on the internet for similar data sets although i found relevant data sets these were not that i was looking for therefore in the end i decided to make my own data set so i wrote a python script that was continuously recording different gestures and at the same time it was filtering out the background noise and i was just saving those skeleton images i showed this initiative to my friends and they were pretty excited and they ended up spending a lot of time in, in with me on collecting the data set so i use vision ap sir you are muted we can't hear you this is when i realized that with using sign language you don't have to only depend on the gestures but your facial expressions also play a very important role me and my friends after this we went and took thousands of photos with both hand gestures as well as facial features of course my friends were quite upset with me but i think another pizza really kept their motivation up before incorporating facial expressions my machine learning model was just predicting letters and numbers after adding facial expressions i could incorporate for much more wider gestures like being scared or being confused or if you understood something you could do it very simply so this really helped my machine learning model appeal to a wider audience i did not feel well machine learning and tensorflow help me build a sign language solution for the communities in india i believe that using the same technologies people all over the world could solve issues for their own community yeah so wasn't it cool what do you guys yes think? that's right yes sir mm-hmm. yes sir yes okay so now i have a question for all of you guys okay so um, you guys can't speak that is the rule okay you guys can't speak you have to raise your hand okay and then i'll choose randomly one of you guys who can explain me or who can answer me okay yes so okay so there are already hands up before omi asking the question that's great um can anyone tell me what did he make here so raise your hands okay no one can speak that's the rule okay no one can speak randomly i'll ask anyone yeah so no one can speak that's the rule if you speak you will be muted permanently okay let's see we have some hands here say so we'll have joshua joshua are you there yeah i've asked joshua joshua has raised his hand mm, if not then we'll go for someone else Joshua can you tell me mm, okay Joshua is not there uh let's see we have Shreyas okay Shreyas can you tell me Shreyas what did he make here yes sir mm-hmm. sir uh, he uh, he wrote a python script which mm-hmm. can uh, convert gestures into speech like gestures? he made gestures to speech gestures to speech okay so can you explain me a bit more like what gesture is and what speech is yes sir so a uh, few people can't talk due to some disorders right. so uh, they use uh, gestures to communicate mhm he uh, made a code that could uh, convert these gestures into speech so that others who don't know uh, how to decode these gestures they can understand that's great that's great sir sure. okay so one more i'll ask one more person uh let's see who we have here mm someone different okay so sanma has both his hands up but i have asked him a lot of questions so red uh, red me there's a user called red me okay you can just uh, introduce yourself i don't know what your name is mm red me no you can write your full name guys yeah rather than putting your device name mm, maybe who else Shriteja, Shriteja, yeah. Yes, yes. Shriteja, can you explain? 
So Teja, are you there? Sir, are you calling me Sri Teja? Yeah, it, it is Sri Teja, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain me what the project is? Yeah. Sir, actually, now, now we know mm -hmm. that so many people can't talk. Speech okay. is some speech is like a, a mixture of frequency. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So so that it makes a voice and we can communicate with each other. Gesture right. is something different. Mm -hmm. No, with no sound, only sign language. Right. You, can, you can use their hands, you can use their head, you can use any body part to communicate what you want to see. Right, right. That's great. That's great. Also, basically, I cannot ask all of you guys, but I know all of you guys have the answer for this. Yeah. So I'll explain it in short. Okay. What AI has done here. Okay. For example, if I cannot speak. Hmm, so what does this mean? What does this mean? Anyone? Yes. What does this thumbs up mean? I understood. Maybe okay. or okay. All is good. Maybe. Done. Done. Yeah. Done. Okay. What about this? What is this just about? Can't understand. Can't understand? No. I can't oh, no. understand. I cannot read the work. Right. I can't read the work. So basically what he has done is he'll have a camera in front of him. Okay. If I do this, then there'll be something. Okay. And it, will, it, it means something. I don't know what it means. Okay. So he's, he has written a script uh, that whenever I have a gesture of my hand you know i'm shaking my hand in this direction or this way uh, it will say uh, maybe i don't know or i'm not feeling well okay this is what ai has done here okay so uh, let's see how an ai works okay let's see how an ai works yeah um give me a second sir i want to tell something uh who is it Tanmay? Yes, sir. Yeah, Tanmay. You can see. Sir, I, uh, I, uh, I was making a website and okay. I don't know. I, it was my first time. Okay. So, I, I... Yeah, tell me. Yeah, Tanmay. Tell me. I have gone to a website. It, mm -hmm. it is called Wix.com. Sir, uh, in there, it was... Uh, we can also make one and the AI also was making one. So... Uh, I was not having any idea, so I just asked the uh, AI and uh, it made me a website in two minutes. A very good example. Yeah, very good example. That's great. Enough, yeah? So we'll see what AI is or how it works. Okay. For example, uh, I have a, an image in front of me. Yeah. Now this image looks very confusing. Okay. There are many blocks here. Nothing to worry about. Okay. We'll make it very simple. Okay. Um, Let's take, um, what can I take um, and different to show you? Okay. I have two books here. Okay. I have two books here. Yeah. Can you guys see my box? Yeah. I have two yes, sir. A red book, a red book and a black yeah. book. Okay. A red book and a yeah, yeah. black book. So let's come up with... Um, the image let me explain you what this image is okay oh well, can i buy buy this book from amazon <laughs> so we are not here to discuss about books so i won't answer that right now yeah yes yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay yes so the book is the data okay so the book is the data this is the label data you can see from the label data we might have books okay and what is the labels what is the yes. labels? labels is the color, for example, in this case, I have color. So I have red and black. Okay. In this example, as you can see in data, they have used many shapes. They have used many shapes. They have used triangle. They have used square. They have used hexagon. Okay. And uh, accordingly, they have put some labels. Okay. For example, uh, this thing, the shape here is called hexagon. Now we know, like as humans, I know. Uh, the shape is called triangle, okay? But the computer doesn't know, okay? That this shape is a triangle or this shape is a square. So I have to let the computer know, okay? That this shape is a square, okay? So next, what I do is, I feed all my data. I feed all my data, okay, to a computer, to, an, to a computer, okay? And in a computer, I have written some scripts, okay? Now what that script will do, 
that script will you know it will combine the data for example it will combine the shape okay to the label okay for example uh, it will combine this shape that is a rectangle okay to the name rectangle okay uh yeah then what is the next step what is the next step can anyone tell me what will be the next step i've trained my data my computer knows what a square is what a triangle is or what a circle is okay can anyone tell me what the next step is? model training model training we have done it so model training we have done it this is a computer okay this is a computer okay model training is a test data yeah test data test what prediction the so, prediction yeah so what we do is now we have uh, shown the computer the images and the labels now what i'll do is i'll put some of the images okay i'll put some of the shapes for example i'll put a shape of square here okay and the computer will give me the output square because it has already learned from the previous data okay now this data on the left hand side here is called as training data what is it called as everyone what is it called as this is called as a training data training data training data, training data. okay yeah so what so in short what we do is there is a computer there is a computer we feed some training data to it okay we feed some training data to it okay now the computer has become smart the computer has become smart it can differentiate different types of shapes okay now i know my computer can differentiate some some kind of shape but i don't know how good it is or will it really work when i show it a different shape or a different object so i test it with my test data okay nothing to worry if you haven't understood it yet nothing to worry okay we'll just iterate it i know it could be confusing for few of you guys nothing to worry about okay uh let's see uh, one more example okay this is one more good example it's shocking walking through the field seeing the devastation when fall and worm attacks it affected everyone i've met farmers who have lost everything the problem is not just in uganda or africa and if we don't act now many may be at risk of hunger mm. When I was younger, I didn't know what I wanted to do. But then I discovered app development and I was excited to show people something they never thought possible. It's hard to ignore the challenges farmers face in Uganda. So I want to use my skills as a software developer to help. Eki gambo kulima, ye chituwa, ye cha kulia. Ato kulima, nkusanyikira nyo kubanga, sebo mwetufuna, ye cho kulia. Nitufuna mwaka sente, nitusomesa abana. Kati, na uliomu, hali ukukaba uka ukako. Na akantu wako, tikainza kumala o, o uluwa doko sebo. Tere no umu, ama nye dagala, ere nza ukolachi, ukata. At a Google study jam, we taught ourselves TensorFlow. We started by building an Android app on top of an open source API. The app allows farmers to spot infestations early, far beyond the capability of human eyes. And this is when we realized machine learning was the key to helping farmers. Our mission is to ensure that this technology can reach to the last farmer in the field. If it's everywhere, why not in the farm? So, The belief I have that when I start something, I should finish it comes from my mother. So much comes from her. Entering technology, I've come across people say, being in tech is not for women. When someone says I can't do something, I always try to make sure I can do it, just to prove them wrong. Mufamire, Tulibari, Mufamire, Tulibari, Kuvira dalaku jaja, 
paka kunzi. Okulima higenda otule, otule mesa, yevi wuka aviri ya kasori. Ne bati na zimba, ato okulima, mkusanyu kila nyo kubanga. Yes, yes, kare. Ati nze wensula, nsuri tadala walunji, nyumba yange, nga tetonya. Kuchusi zamu, kubanga, tata, oba jaje, tiyali ne nyumba, ye bati. Kare, abana abange, bagala nyo Kulima nga nze wopa gala wopa jaja nguru ya tuigiri sana. Tule na suri. Nitufuna embere nungi mkulima. We've started to introduce our app to farmers. Our app can determine if a crop is infested with volami worm in real time. The app also suggests the appropriate treatment depending on the life cycle of the pest. Ultimately saving harvest and reducing pest size. Okay. So I'll stop here. So again, the same method, what you do is, I'll ask you mm, what this video means. So is there anyone who wants to explain or has understood? You can raise your hands. What this video has done, anyone? Submit, okay, we have Submit here. We have Sri Adit, Sri Sai Adwait, okay. Who else, Harjwain, mm-hmm. Uh, let's give Sumit a chance. Yes, Sumit, can you explain me? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, what did the AI do is it took the photos mm -hmm. and after that, it sensed that what is the problem with that crop mm -hmm. as it usually happened. Mm -hmm. And it was like it was fed to the computer. And mm -hmm. by that information, it just was predicting what ha has happened yeah. and then it was giving a particular treatment which is required according to the crop. That's great. Yeah, the that's great. The damage which has happened by the pesticides. Exactly. Right, right, right. Exactly. Very good. Very good. So what I'll do is, um, what we'll do is we had understood this, we had seen this image. Okay. So we try putting uh, what we had understood in the last video in this image. Okay. For example, we have data here. So can anyone tell me what will be in the data section? Can anyone tell me? Everything will be jumbled. Everything will be jumbled, but what, what will be there in the data? All the things. Plant we image. Plant image. Okay. So there will be plant image, but on what kind of plant image? What kind of plant image? The wheat. Wheat. Okay. What else? Corn. Rice. No, 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 not, not like that. Okay. So let's let's understand. Okay. So I have a new slide here. Yeah. And uh, just give me a second. So let's take label data. Okay. So we have this label data. And, and uh, give me a second. Hmm. Why is it not going to? Okay, so we'll have two kinds of images here. One is an image of bad crop, okay? Bad crop image, okay? Okay. And then we'll have an image of good crop. We'll have an image of good crop, okay? Then what we'll do, We'll have another block. Okay. Let's make it like this. Now this block is my computer. This block is my brain. So what I'll do is I'll put all the images of good crop and bad crop to this computer. Okay. So I'll put all the images of good crop and bad crop to the computer okay like this till now my computer was a normal computer till now my computer was a normal computer after putting some python scripts it became a smart computer a computer that can now uh, distinguish whether a crop is a bad crop or a good crop now how did it understand that how did it learn that because i you know, I'd given it lots of images or lots of data. 
saying this crop is a bad crop, this crop is a good crop. Okay, so now my computer becomes a smart computer. Now, whenever, now whenever I put an image, sorry, whenever I put an image of, say like this, Whenever I put now new images, now this, these new images I don't know. Okay, this, these new images I don't know if it's a good crop or a bad crop, but my computer knows. Okay, but my computer knows. So what I'll do is I'll just again send these images to the computer, and now my computer will be able to tell me that my crop is a good crop or a bad crop. Good crop or a bad crop. Okay, understood, guys. Does anyone want me to repeat this? Oh, excuse me, sir. Sir, yeah. I understood it. So, excuse understood. me, sir. That's it. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, tell me. Sir, does that mean that the computer differentiates between the good and bad crop? Yeah. So the computer differentiates between the good and bad crop. So it is basically uh, like our human brain. Okay. Like uh, when we were small, okay, when we were small, uh, we had like many fruits, okay, we had many fruits. Say, take an example, we had an apple and we had a banana, okay. Now, now the first time you saw uh, the apple or banana, you were very confused, okay, what to call. Is it, is this apple a banana or is it an apple, okay, or is this fruit a banana or an apple? We didn't knew, okay, but after a few times, we started understanding, okay, we started understanding that this, this fruit here as an apple or this fruit here is a banana so similarly the computer starts understanding okay for the first image it might not understand if the uh, if the crop is a good crop or a bad crop so we have to feed a lot of images okay we have to feed a lot of images so the computer becomes smart okay it starts understanding yeah what else what else uh, sir? Me, sir? yeah so that means uh, with the help of camera and the images that we are going to add to the computer mm -hmm. so he can understand okay this is the images of good crop these are the images of bad crop right. and later on we send them the mix uh, uh, like good crop and the bad crop yeah. then he can identify okay what are the good crop and what are the bad crops exactly right very good yeah that's okay. it yeah anyone else sir yeah mm -hmm. So like it works, uh, didn't it work like there is a project also the grape separator? Mm, yeah, but in, in, in grape separator, uh, you know, what, what was the difference? Okay, so in grape uh, separator, it was usually detecting like uh, it was not actually detecting, you know, it was not smart. So what was grape, uh, it was not smart as in the sense, like in, in grape separator, it was just a sensor, okay? So if light was passing through the black, uh, sorry, the, uh, the light was passing through the uh, green grapes. Okay, so it was uh, it came to know. Okay, so there's a green grapes, separate it out or don't separate it out. So if there's a black grape, separate it out or don't separate it out. Okay, but sometimes like you can, you know, even confuse AI with smart robotics. But AI is something that it understands or it learns on its own. Okay, the grape separator didn't learn on its own. Okay, so it was like um what's it let's take an example it, it is basically like saying if there's a human in front of me or not or with the help of sensor okay okay so why i we had learned why i because it makes human life simple okay and it reaches where humans can't reach okay so it it, it is used where humans can't reach also, it's helping 10 lakh lives, like a million lives or more. Okay, like we had seen uh, this project in Africa where uh, a single app, a single app was spread amongst many farmers, like thousands of farmers. And then they came to know if, you know, a crop is a good crop or a bad crop. Yeah. So, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. This was a quote said by Einstein, Albert Einstein. You know who Albert Einstein was? Yes, sir. Albert 
He is my favorite physician, mm. and you see it in my profile of Zoom. Right. So what does what does quote change? What what does quote says? Okay. Why have I brought this quote? Because you know this, like I told, like uh, in fact, Sanmay had brought uh, the example of uh, the grapes. Okay, the grape separator. Okay, so that was called a smart robotics. That grape separator, the project is called a smart robotics. It comes into the classification of smart robotics. Now, from smart robotics, you have to go into AI. Okay, something that can learn on its own. Okay, in smart robotics, I had I had just commanded it. Okay, so if it's a green drop, say separate it out. If it's a black black drop, let it be there. Okay, but it was not able to understand. It was not able to learn. There was no learning in it. Okay, if I had put some uh you know I, a mixed grape which is like green and a black grape mix somehow, it won't be able to rectify it. Okay, because it is not smart enough. Okay, so you have to go into the smartness. You have to make it learn. So. Here comes the exciting part: AI vision. You know what AI vision is? Anyone? Have you guys used AI vision? Or know what AI vision is? Yes. Who? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, the AI can speak. I also have another chip called Microbit, in that there will be a sensor. Mm hmm. But even uh, with blocks as AI, anyone have have you guys used it? AI yeah, with I have it in my box. I'll get it. That's yeah. <laughs> So for for those who don't know what AI vision is, let's watch a small video. Okay. Welcome, welcome to the launch of AI vision by Widblock, India's number one robotics learning app. Our immense hard work is finally showing the result. With months of research and development, we are finally ready with our first AI blocks. We are still in a beta version, which means we are still developing the smart blocks. And now we need your help to make the AI blocks. Really intelligent. So before we get into the technical aspect, let's check out what all we are doing with our AI vision. AI door lock. With our AI vision, we have created our very own AI door lock mechanism. We have trained it in such a way that it will only allow people to enter the R and D lab if he or she is wearing a mask. And we have created a real smart mood detection mechanism using our AI vision. One of our friends at Vidblocks Lab is very moody, so we created an AI mood sensor. We trained our AI to detect two different moods. One is happy and the other is sad. So whenever our friend is sad, the AI plays a piece of music to make him happy. And once he is happy, the AI detects his change in mood and turns on the clapping hand. This makes him happy. So now our friend is happy. All, all those smart and intelligent communications were carried out by our AI vision. Now let's get into the technical part of it. In this entire system of AI-based communication and application, there are two important parts. One is the AI user interface, which is an internal browser-based system, and the other is AI blocks. These two are individual components, which act as one when connected over internet. Sounds a little tough. Let me take you through. The AI vision blocks has just arrived at your home, and when you open it, you see this: uh, AI vision blocks. Now, to use these blocks, we need a smartphone with an active internet connection. Scan the QR code that you find inside the box, and open the link in your browser. A web interface appears that has been specially designed to configure and use the AI vision blocks. Grant permission to use your camera. I can now continuously detect and analyze the objects that the camera captures. Click on "See what I can identify" to see ten different objects that the AI has already been trained to recognize. Next, go to connect your blocks and enter the authorization code. Of your blocks, you can find this auth code under the QR code that comes with the box. Once the auth code is provided, the AI will authenticate your block over the internet and show you four port options. Now, 
all you need to do is select any object from see what i can identify and assign a port to it after this assignment you can power your ai vision blocks from a wood blocks power and add any output that port the ai vision will automatically connect with the internet and whenever the ai vision web terminal detects your object the ai vision turns on the output so that is all about the ai vision from witblocks so what do you guys think is it cool anyone yes uh, yes sir yes yeah? sir like i can have my own ai and i already have an ai vision block so i can already start working with the ai what do you think so do you want to see how it works anyone you want to yes see? sir yep that's it yes sir so what i'll do is i'll go to so i have already saved the website name okay so it is ai.wetblocks.com okay so what you can do is you can just open a tab okay new tab okay and just type ai.wetblocks.com like this okay and now it will ask us to you know uh, if you want to use your camera and you have to allow it okay you have to allow it yeah you have to allow it by mistake if you have you know uh, press the block button nothing to worry about see there is a lock button here press this out go to cameras okay and then allow okay and it will ask us to reload the website and reload for those who might have blocked it by mistake okay now now comes the very exciting part okay now comes the part where we be training our own ai okay we will be training our own ai so when you come to this page you know there is a section called as train your own yeah click to the section click to the staff now um so my camera is still loading okay so we'll wait for the camera to load now i'll use i'll make a classifier okay, i'll make a classifier now what will the and you need to uh, just uh, close your zoom camera then ah, yeah. camera will get me right right so um what i'll do is um, i'll make a classifier that will classify between me and my favorite soft type this is a minion okay um so I, i'll stop my camera so that the camera of this website loads okay Let's wait. So I'll just re refresh it, and let's wait for the camera to load. Yeah. Now this is this is how I look. So in my uh, label one, label for my port one, I'll put my name, Man. Okay. And now I'll click images. Okay. So for to click images, you have to press this button, train. Okay. So you have to press this button train like many times, four five times, okay, and um, we'll get like hundred percent production is money, okay. Now for port two, I'll have my main name, okay. I'll have my main name that is my soft toy. So I'll just get aside and I'll train my main name like this. I'll click two images of my main name in some different angles, okay. So now, see, whenever I am in front of it, it will predict Manan. Okay, and whenever my minion is in front of it, it will predict Nini. See okay? how cool is it, Manan? And that's really cool. Yeah. In doubt, anyone? You could also have one more thing. So I could have. Yeah, sir. Sir, I want to ask you. Hmm. First, when first you went to AI dot bitbox dot com, mm -hmm. then. Uh, uh so then after how did you get to this page okay so there's a section called as train your own okay so press this here train your own so i'm trying to press it but it's not able to be pressed mm use a different uh, are you trying it on a phone or what so on laptop uh just refresh your okay so this refresh and try again just in case yeah, i done yeah okay and uh, no, i have a question okay yeah So, uh, is there any way we can uh, like teach it any sounds? Like mm -hmm. whenever it sees the minion, it will say something. 
not not the sound not the sound like yeah it can detect the meaning and then you will have to use uh, like the ai block and you can you can configure it with something else maybe an like you block. can use the ai block and connect the like the port to in which minion is getting detected to the buzzer and then it will make a sound so i'll have one more background okay i'll use uh, my normal background that is my you know uh, my house wall okay as the background as you can see it is now predicting background when i come to in front of it it is manan and then minion okay there's minion background like okay. let's take another example okay for for another example what i'll do is i'll just refresh the website okay i'll just refresh this website okay and we'll have this classification of these two books okay so i have a red book and a black book okay so for red book what i'll do is i'll write your red book okay and i'll click some images of the red book okay five six images yeah for the strange red book now i'll uh, press for black book black book. okay put the black book in front of my camera click few images black book now when i bring red book in front of it see it predicts the red book and whenever i predict my black book there's a black book in front of it this it predicts black book now this device now this uh, software here is absolutely free okay it is absolutely free and you don't need a block okay you don't need a block to use this software you can easily make your own classification okay but what if i want to do something like and home automation or some project which requires some electronics in it what we'll do is we'll just go to this home page here we'll go to this home page here okay and you see uh, there is an option for enter your auth token here okay so what is an auth token okay it is the same code that we get with our ai block okay so i have a code here okay So I'll just put in the code. Yeah, and I'll connect to it. As you could see, after connecting, I get a message of connected. Okay, I get a message of connected. So what I've done is, I've co I've connected my Power block hey, my AI. AI. Okay, there's someone speaking. Hey, so I'll just, no just mute him. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Just like. Uh, so for the connection of the AI vision, we have to power it first. Then it will connect. Or yeah, you have to power it. So I've uh, used a battery here. Okay. Okay. And I will battery. Uh, yeah, nine, nine volt battery that you get with the kit. Okay, sir. Okay, and uh, you can see it's already there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. now after uh, so there will be an uh, issue for a second year because uh, let me see how i can connect to um, okay so i won't be able to show how i connect this uh, wifi block to my wifi okay so what i'll do is i'll just take a device okay i'll just take a device and uh, let me stop Can you guys see me? Manan, your screen sharing is on. You can disable screen sharing, yeah. and I'll pin you. Yeah, yeah. So I have a device. Okay. So your screen is still black. Hmm. I think because AI vision is using a camera. Oh uh, yeah. Sir, we cannot see your screen. Your screen is now. No, sir. No, no. Can you see me? No. No. Ask me also. Mm. Actually, you will have to close the AI dot bookblog dot com. Yeah, I have yeah. It now. Yeah, now it's now your visit. Yeah. So, so what I'll do is I'll just take a device. Okay, in the device I'll go to the Wi-Fi section. Okay. After going to the Wi-Fi section, I have an option of Wit AI Vision Wi-Fi. So I have an option of Wit AI Vision Wi-Fi. So I'll just click it. So I'll just show you the video. of how to connect your ai vision block uh, to your wifi so just give me a second
Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, on the website, uh, I can't turn on my camera. Uh, you have to give the permission. Sir, I have gave the permission. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, uh, so I will rectify it uh, later on at the end. Okay, we'll see what the issue is. Yeah. So let's watch the video of how to connect your AI version block. Okay, to your Wi-Fi block to your home Wi-Fi. Just follow these simple steps. First, connect with Blocks Power to the AI Vision block, and then switch on the power block. Then, take a smartphone and connect to your Wi-Fi, and search for your AI Vision block Wi-Fi. The name of the block will appear like this. It starts with Bitblocks AI and ends with a four-digit unique code. Connect to this Wi-Fi. After successful completion, your phone will automatically open a web page. If not, then open your browser and type in 192.168.4.1. This is the configuration screen. On the screen, you can see all the active Wi-Fi sources around you. The source can be either a Wi-Fi router or a second phone in hotspot mode switched on. You need to select your preferred source, but make sure the source is connected to the internet. After the selection, enter the password and hit save and you're good to go. Now, whenever your AI vision is turned on, it will automatically search for its saved Wi-Fi source and get connected. Now let's move on to the second part that is to connect your AI app to the AI block. First, you need to connect your phone back with your home Wi-Fi or simply turn on the phone data. Now either you can scan the QR code that came along with your box or just go to ai.withblocks.com. The web page will ask permission to use the camera. It is important to grant this permission. The website doesn't use a store. So we have seen all these things like uh, how to go to ai.withblocks.com. That's this website. And now what I've done is the, using the instructions that we've seen in the video, I have taken, like I've connected my AI block to my Wi-Fi. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, pass on my um, auth code. Okay? I'll just quickly pass on my auth code just, and we'll see a practical use of it. Okay, so let me pass on my auth code to this website here. Okay. okay, so this is my auth code of my AI block. I'll just connect to it. And now you see, um, I have a label. So we'll use the same label, like I'll train it for Manan. Okay. Okay. And, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, I'll go train your own because, um, yeah. And pass on my auth code here. Put on Manan. Train. Okay, then I I'll put my mean in here. Okay. I'll take some images of my mean. In. Okay, it is classifying between me and my mean. In. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, I I'll connect two devices to my AI block. That is a Wi-Fi block and a buzzer. Now, because it is detecting me, that is Manan, okay, and I have uh, trained it for port number one, so my lamp is on, okay. Now, the moment I put on the minion in front of it, you hear there's a sound coming, and see, my lamp is off, and my port two is on. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. It in the camera, it will detect the 
like it will detect the minion and it makes the sound yeah for minion i have used a buzzer so if it detects minion it will uh, buzz it will make the sound and if it detects me my lamp will go on yes. so because because it is detecting me my lamp is on the moment i bring my minion see my yeah. lamp goes off and buzzer is on excuse me sir and manan also tell them the uh, the port number 1 2 3 4 again so there's yeah. some confusing yeah so basically uh, see uh, we, we can uh, connect up to four devices here so i have one two and then we can connect a third and fourth devices okay so my port one my port one is connected to this to this lamp okay so as you can see in the screen in port one i have put mananya okay so if in port one i put minion or in port one uh, let's check an, another example of book that is my red book Uh, excuse me, sir. That means uh, we don't have to uh, like code the AI vision. We just have directly have to train uh, the model, like one, two, three, four port. Then right. automatically it will uh, like give the output. Like, जो भी buzzer होगा उसपे first suppose buzzer light then uh, if there's exactly. a sensor. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we don't have to train like we don't have to code anything. We have to just click the images of the thing that we want to classify. Sir. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, just a second. Just a second. Yeah. So see now I have my red book here. My red book is connected to port one. That is my lamp is on. Okay. The moment I bring my black book, my lamp will go off and my buzzer will buzz. Yeah. Doubt solved, everyone. In, in doubts here. Excuse me, sir. क्या करना है? क्या करना है? Sir, I did it. Sir, I did it. Understand it. How to like if there is red book, then how can we uh, on the lamp only lamp? See, so uh, let let me remove all my uh, labels here. Okay, let me remove it here. Okay, so I removed all my labels. So what it is saying is enter label for port one, enter label for port two, enter label for port three, and enter label for port four. Now what I'll do is. This the the top one the when uh, the port which I'm uh, pointing is my port one. Okay, so now I have two options here. I can either put a lamp, okay, or I can put a buzzer. Okay, so what I'll do is for port one I'll put a buzzer like this. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll put a label. Okay, red book. Okay, and now I'll bring my red book out. Okay, so whenever, so let me train my red book. So I'll press the train button many times. Okay. Uh. Okay. So my I just switched off the power accidentally. Just give, let's give a second. Yeah. See, it's detecting red book. This was the earlier detection. Okay. And what we can do is, I just power it off. In port two. I'll put black book, okay, and I'll train my O two for black book, and I'll connect a lamp to my. Okay, let me show you. It's detecting red book. I'll put a black book here. See, my lamp goes on. We have red book. And my buzzer will get on. Sir, black book. Sir, does. Sir, can uh, can mm -hmm. I make this? Yeah, you can make it. Sir, make sir. Mm-hmm. Sir, does ah. that mean that uh, on port one we have uh like tell the uh port one the label mm -hmm. as red book? So when the red book comes in front of the camera, mm -hmm. the uh, the output we have. What we have connected in port one that will uh, be on. Yeah, right, right, right. Exactly. Excuse me, yeah. sir. Yeah. Sir, I have a question, sir. So, mm -hmm. can we enter like more labels than the four ports? Uh, no, only four uh, labels. That is, only you can only add four ports, like four. Sir, labels. and sir, what will happen if like there is a group of Like we have entered four people, and then there is a group of people. So which port will work in that case? 
so that is not sure like it depends on whom the ai vision detects first right so if it detects me first it will uh, uh, put the respective port on right if, if it detects someone else okay it will put the that port on yeah so so can i buy this can i buy this ai vision and uh, wifi clip clip from uh, it blocks yeah you can buy for sure also for those uh, like only for today we have an offer like for those who buy it uh, we have 10% discount on it okay so someone will uh, share the code the discount code in the chat section for those who want to buy it you can buy it today itself only for today uh, we have 10% okay and uh, one more thing that i wanted to share you is uh, like we have two options here so whenever i go to ai dot blocks dot com that is this website so whenever you come here whenever you come to this page this page which has a lot of labels okay for example open hand and uh, this you will have to put an authentication code that is the code that you get with the ai block okay but whenever you go to train your own whenever you go to train your own you don't need an auth code okay it will work without auth code as well okay so if you don't have an auth code nothing to worry you can just play with these ports here okay yeah any doubts anyone else ah uh, yes sir sir yeah ah uh, sir uh, i have doubt mm -hmm. uh, what is it uh... Uh, this uh, ai vision uh, can it uh, program wirelessly yeah this is all wireless this is all wireless so it is all connected to internet see what i have done is uh, uh, the classifier the classifier is my computer okay the classifier is my computer yeah and this is not connected to my computer in any way okay so this is this could be like somewhere uh, in some uh, remote area but it needs just a wifi connection okay so the ai block needs a wifi connection okay so the computer can send the data to the ai block ah okay sir okay got it ah yes, sir sir but uh, the uh, man, i'll just add a bit more to the yeah. question so he was also asking that can we code it like wirelessly so one thing is that uh, uh, the whole ai and everything is con controlled wirelessly as just manan sir showed and secondly one more thing that you can do is that we also have the pin out of the ai vision block so there is a ground port a vcc port and a data port so you can directly just uh, plug it into your arduino or breadboard and you can take out the data port and you can do whatever you want using that arduino so whenever and whenever a red book is detected say the data port gets high and the data port gets high and you can control anything that you want like it may be an lcd module or it may be Anything, anything, any sensor you want to trigger out. So basically, uh, I'll just summarize what uh, Suman said right now. Okay. So using AI port, you can connect it to like different devices like an Arduino, a Raspberry Pi, an ESP32, and you can control more devices, right, Suman? Yeah, anything yeah. they want. Just yeah, anything giving a press. Okay. So sure. four simple steps. Just a second. Yeah, just. Okay, sir. We we come to the questionnaire. Okay, after this, uh, after these two slides. Okay, so the first step that we did was we connected our AI block to Wi-Fi. So I'd shown you uh, how to connect your AI block to Wi-Fi. Okay, just select the respective Wi-Fi name that is with blocks AI Vision Wi-Fi. Okay, and then sir? connect it to your existing Wi-Fi. Excuse okay. me, sir. Uh, yeah, Anish. Wait. Uh, we'll we'll be having a questionnaire after this. Yeah. Okay, sir. Second, you have to put your OAuth code. Okay, what is your OAuth code? The code that you get with your AI Vision block. Okay, so you can put your OAuth code here. Okay. Third, click images and set labels. Like I'd shown you, whenever uh, I had my red book here or a black book here, I used to put black book. I used to put the label of black book, and I used to click images. Yeah, that is the third step, and the fourth step is go. Yeah, you can like use this technology to classify anything. Okay, like you can even use it. Uh, like this project here, where uh, they had, uh, where Akshay Bahadur had used signs to convert into like language or something. 
yeah, to speech, you can even make your own project like that, okay, and help others, okay. So you can have like a group of friends and you could make different gestures and you can try it out. Lastly, you can like use it on any device. So you can open this website on any device, okay, an Android phone, an iPhone, a tablet, or a desktop. Yeah, everyone. So, any doubts? Anyone up till now? We can have a question as now. I have a question, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, in uh, our IR uh, vision sensor, mm -hmm. have a Wi-Fi chip in it. Also, in ESP32 cam, also we have a Wi-Fi chip. Uh, okay. Uh, I I don't know a lot about the others. I'm I know a lot on AI block because I'm I'm an AI person. Okay. So, any doubts on AI? That's what I can handle right now. How can, block. Connect, uh, how can we connect it, sir? How can it connect to our ESP32 cam? So mm -hmm. it's not possible to connect to the ESP32 cam directly, but you can take the output and use it. Okay, sir. Thank you. So just the data, you can use it. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. So <laughs> the Wi-Fi part that you, the Wi-Fi module that you see on the AI vision block, so just for connecting it to the Wi-Fi, so that you can use it as a wireless device wherever you want to detect anything and okay. control it. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Great. So see, these are the four devices that you can use. Okay? You cannot use uh, like a Raspberry Pi or ESP32 with camera or on. Okay, so you need uh, to use these four devices to train. Okay, to train, just to train. Okay, once it is trained, then you can connect it to any devices like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or, or a breadboard or any circuit using the AI Vision Block. Yeah, anyone? In doubts? No, no doubts? Okay, so I have an exciting news for you guys. Okay, so we have an AI vision competition that will be like coming very soon. Okay, and we'll be dropping all the links to it in the group and Instagram and all else. Okay, so what you guys can do is till that time, you guys can think what you can do or how you can contribute using this AI vision block, okay? What you can classify, yeah? Everyone? Yeah, and students, what you can do is that you can just shoot a screen recording about whatever AI you have designed, and you can just uh, post it on the web block that as well. Yeah, so, um, shall we conclude, Simon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, everyone, thank you for attending today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you guys enjoy it? Yes, sir. We enjoyed. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We enjoyed it a lot. Well, we enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. about an eye sensor. Yes, mm -hmm. Also, Suman has posted the, the coupon code for AI Vision Block. So, if you guys are willing to purchase the AI Vision Block, when purchase it today, uh, you'll get a discount of 10%. Okay, so it is only for the attendees, those who are in the webinar right now. Okay, you can buy it using the AI Vision webinar that is the coupon code. Sir, 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 mm -hmm. sir, 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 uh, so 10% and 30%, right? Yes, you got it. Sir, I was just checking for AI. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, can you share the coupon code once again? Uh, it is in the chat. It's in the chat. No, sir, actually I got disconnected. Sir, so everything went. Upload a photo and train to AI. Yeah. Didn't get you, didn't get you. What, what, what are you trying to say? Sir, I saw there is a URL option there in the mm. website. So can we upload a photo and train it? Like uh, you can just take a photo of Minion and uh, keep it there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. So whenever I see. No, no, the URL part is actually something different. We'll okay, okay, yeah. Uh, you URL is different. Okay. Uh, so, so we'll come to that in. Uh, it is a very deep topic. So we'll come to that in some other session. So right now you just have to go to your train your own okay just go to your train your own and here you can uh train your own ai yeah. the, the url, URL are... part will be discussing it in another webinar it's a very okay. big topic so we'll be learning how to design your own complex ai 
like for many many different different ports and then control it using ai vision got it yeah so i'll conclude everyone okay bye bye have a good day yeah have a good day bye, have a good sunday all the best for your exam bye sir bye sir bye bye we have a lot of fun bye sir bye bye sir 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 bye bye sir next webinar webinar kab hai we'll organize it have a doubt bye sir yeah yeah ask the doubt yeah. there was someone there how to enter the coupon code yes sir how to enter the coupon code okay let me go to wetblocks.com shop sure okay and uh, in this i i think it is add on block and here you will find ai vision okay when you go to ai vision just add it to your bag okay here yeah. when you add it to your bag uh, see you get this option here redeem your code okay so i'll just copy paste uh, it here and apply okay just a second uh man uh, it's only applicable on the witblox app not on the okay. website okay 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 it's only applicable on okay Uh, so let me do one thing. Uh, let me share my phone screen. What is the gift card code? Something is there. Uh, no. Uh, so you don't have to use that. You just have to go to the coupon code in your mobile app. Okay, in your mobile app. Use your mobile app and not your uh, website. Okay, use your mobile.